Hello guys, in this video, I am going to share a new research which is called as Corrective Retrieval Augmented Generation or CRAG. CRAG or CRAG boosts RAG robustness and it has outperformed standard RAG by up to 36.6% in accuracy in various tests. It uses a retrieval evaluator and web searches to enhance reliability and relevance of the retrieved documents focusing on key information. If you go through its paper, on the right hand side, this diagram shows what problem exactly it is trying to solve here. So what normally happens in the routine RAG system is that they often fail due to unreliable document retrieval exposing generative models to inaccurate knowledge. This issue undermines the system performance, especially in tasks reliant on quality and relevance of the sourced information. That is where if you look at this methodology, this is where this CRAG introduces a retrieval evaluator to assess and enhance document quality, triggering tailored retrieval actions. It employs web search and optimized knowledge distillation or utilization for automatic self-correction. A decomposed and recomposed algorithm filters irrelevant content, ensuring focus on crucial information, making it adaptable to various RAG-based approaches. CRAG significantly improves RAG performance across a diverse dataset, showing up to 36.6% accuracy gain, as I mentioned earlier. And there are a lot of other benchmarks which they have tested. For instance, if you look at this table, this is showing you overall evaluation results on the test sets of four datasets. Results are separated based on the generation LLMs. The bold numbers, as you can see this 75.3, they indicate the best performance among all methods and LLMs. Whereas the gray colored uh, bold score indicates the best performance using a specific LLM. And there are a lot of LLMs which have been used here. As you can see, uh, it is Lama 2 HF 7 billion, self rag Lama 2 7 billion, baseline with retrieval, and a lot of other information is there. Now, Craig's versatility across a spectrum of tasks underscore its robust capabilities and generalization ability across diverse scenarios. Now, if you look at this table, this is also quite interesting. In this one, as you can see that, uh, for example, in the left hand side in table two, there is ablation study for removing each single action on pop QA data set. And then they have removed the ambiguity. If you check at the table three, again, the ablation study has been done. So all of these numbers, what they are showing is that how the performance has been changed if a key knowledge utilization operation was ablated. So for instance, evaluation on the POP QA data set in terms of accuracy were conducted by individually removing the knowledge utilization operation of document refining, search query rewriting, and external knowledge selection. Removing document refinement, refinement denoted that the original retrieved documents were directly fed to the generator as in most existing works. Now, there is a lot to it and I'll drop the link to this paper in video description so that you can read along. In summary, the CRAG is plug and play and can be seamlessly coupled with various other RAG based approaches. And as I said, experiment on four data set covering short and long form generation tasks show that CRAG can significantly improve the performance of RAG based approaches. Read through it if you're interested and let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.